My house is a little messy right now, but I am completely unapologetic because there are some things that we need to talk about. Right? Let's discuss! Yesterday, Mike and I took Liam to his first circus ever, and we were super excited about it. It was interesting to say the least. Now, I feel like anytime something really weird happens, you have these pivotal moments when you say to yourself, hmm, something might be a little weird here, like something is off. But warning sign number one, it's a tent set up in front of the mall in a discreet little small Texas town. Warning sign number two, the entire, <laughs> you kidding me right now? Mom props. Warning sign number two, the entire show is in Spanish. Now, I understand Spanish, I speak a little bit of Spanish, so I'm not trying to say it is a bad thing, but it is very odd. It's very peculiar that it's an entire circus in Spanish. No big deal, this is awesome, this is exciting. First act comes out, and it's the Golden Boys of China. These boys are like 12 years old and doing all kinds of tricks and jumping over each other, very entertaining, but they're like 12 years old. They're very young, and they're definitely not Chinese. They're not Chinese. And I know you're thinking, well, what does that matter? Um, who's letting their children do this when they're like 12 in a Mexican circus? So the whole show is very low budget, to say the least. Very low budget. Warning sign number three. Over and over again, they're saying, no cameras, no cameras, don't take any pictures, make sure to put your phones away. They don't want someone filming their whole act. So I didn't think anything of it. And I took a little video just because I was trying to get a video of Liam. I put it away because I guess people were watching to make sure people weren't videotaping or anything. And the last act right before the halftime is one of these and it's just this big like giant hamster ball contraption type thing and in the small part is where the guy is and he runs around and blah 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 he flips in the air and then near the end Mike and I are getting up with Liam at this point because Liam he's had about enough it's already been like two hours so we're heading out well, this is the last thing we're watching as we're going out the guy gets out of the small circle that he's enclosed in, he gets out and he gets on top of the little circle thing that's going around with a jump rope. With a jump rope. I can just look and I can just tell that this guy is an amateur. This ain't no Barnum and Bailey. You know, you're not trained, you're not a professional and I could just, I'm like biting my nail because I'm like this is not good, like this is not going to end well. He's about to jump rope. I kid you not, I saw this guy's life flash before my eyes. He goes to jump rope, steps on it, trips on it, and almost falls. And it takes him like two times around. He's still sitting on top of this giant contraption going around in circles. He seriously almost falls off and dies. The whole crowd is just like, ah! Like, everyone's all, everyone's high pitched screaming like, ah! Like, dude, just get off. Like, it's okay. But he keeps going. He keeps going around and tries it again. And he does like two, two jump ropes and then almost falls off again. And everyone's just like, what is this dude doing? Finally, Mike's just like, okay, let's go because we don't need to see someone like die. We headed out, but I just had like the weirdest feeling. And I was just like, that is the sketchiest circus I've ever been to. I couldn't help but think about those the act that was the little boys, the little 12 year old boys. I just thought that's so peculiar. Full disclaimer, I am like the biggest conspiracy theorist there is out there. Like if there's a possibility that something could be a conspiracy, I will jump to the least possible conclusion before I think of something rational. So take this with a grain of salt. So of course I come home and have to do my own research and I Google child exploitation in circuses. Oh my gosh, it brought up a ridiculous amount of things about exploitation of children, they have so much more dexterity, they're like a high commodity in circuses and a lot of people are getting them like as children slaves, especially out of 
Nepal, because Nepal has such a lax border and like no security and they really let people go through easy. And families are selling their kids to the circus. They tell them, oh, we're gonna pay them a fair wage, it's such a glamorous life, the costumes, the lights, the performing. They sell their children to the circuses for about 14 American dollars. What? Some of them as young as five years old. And there's a whole foundation set up to help these children. They like rehabilitate them after they like bust circuses and get the children out. Granted, this is not in the United States. I couldn't find anything that happened in the United States. But I contacted the foundation and I told them everything that I saw and maybe you can say that I'm a conspiracy theorist and that I'm just being paranoid and reading into everything. But then I googled Nepalese children and they looked exactly, exactly like the golden boys of China. I don't know dude, it is sketchy. We went and saw the show Sunday evening. The next day, packed up, gone. Nowhere to be seen. Whole circus is just swooped up, they're gone. Thanks for watching guys, we put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. And say we got a good video coming out on Thursday.